Oh, I my other one now. What do you think? Disgusting. Why? Any any girl with any decency would never walk in the street with them on. But they might wear one of the... Disgusting. Why? Well, I don't know. It's really disgusting. I wouldn't wear one. Try and catch on in more Brampton. Well, I think it's just a gimmick and um, I don't think any girl in their right mind would wear it. I don't think any decent girl would wear one. I mean, they might be alright for these Debbie types in London at these parties, but I don't think they'll catch on in Wolverhampton. A lot of guys are asking, you know, should I get married? Is marriage worth it? You know, is it something I want to do? Should I get married? Should you get married? Should me and get married today? Well, after playing that video, you tell me what you think. Because this was a video comparing the mindsets and the viewpoints of women of 1964 versus the women today. Marriage laws haven't changed. What's required of men haven't changed. Men are still required to be protectors and providers. But what, want, but what women are giving to men today in exchange has drastically changed. Women are not married to you anymore. They're married to social media. Here's a harsh reality, fellas. If your woman got a social media and if she does not have a business, she's probably cheating on you. There is a great, great chance. See, what I'm going to say is that there are probably some outliers who probably may be out there and she's not cheating or whatever, guys. But in most cases, your woman is, is definitely entertaining other dudes, to say the least. She got social media. She posts some provocative pictures. She bent over. She's showing her breasts. She's showing her titties. What type of attention ass? What type of attention do you think that draws? Uh, what type of attention do you think that draws? You think she's just doing that just because? She's doing it because she likes the attention that guys are giving her. And then you got to think about the women who've been on social media for years. I think what social media, you know, really, really got popping around like 2012, 2011, 13, something like that. That's when it really started to take off because prior to that was just MySpace, Facebook, all that type of shit. But Instagram really started taking off. Yo, so on average, your girl has been used to this type of attention for 10 years. And then you try to marry her and you think she's just going to give that up. Habit don't break that easy, bro. The exchange was... For marriage is you to provide and protect for her exclusive feminine nurturing energy. She's not exclusive. She'll tell you she is. She'll tell you she's not talking to other dudes. She'll look at you in your face, call you baby and tell you she loves you. And she's DMing other dudes. See, women have too many different private interactions that they can have with other men that you know nothing about. They can have day naps they delete when they are around you. They got Snapchat. If your girl got a close friends, Listen up, fellas. If your girl got a close friends and she posting in that close friends, if she only posting you in the close friends, she's only doing this because, you know, she doesn't want the other guys on her Instagram to know that she's not single or that she's not talking to anybody. She still wants to appear single because she's getting attention from these dudes or she's not proud of you. Because if she had Michael B. Jordan or Drake or anybody like that, you wouldn't go on the close friends. You would go on her main page. She would post you often because at that point she feels that she has a high value man and a high value man is very valuable. Don't forget that. Pay attention to what your girl is doing. Oh man, she only posts with her. Oh, uh, it's only her homegirls and her close friends. Motherfucker, she can go to her close friends right now and switch everybody out and make it all dudes and post provocative pictures in there. These women do that. Don't think that they don't. I'm in a couple women's close friends and I be seeing it. Posting the cheeks, posting the titties, playing with the pussy, and they got boyfriends. They got dudes, bro. You're marrying women who are not exclusive. You're marrying women who are not exclusive. Do y'all understand that? You're still required as a man to be traditional, but women are no longer traditional to you. 
Not to not to mention that women are also given incentives to leave you. What do you think alimony is? What do you think child support is? Why do you think that the divorce rate amongst women is so high? 70 to 80 percent of them are filing for divorce because they get paid to leave you. Not to mention that they have gynocentric rights that society gives them that they can exercise and then nine times out of 10, it's not going to fare well for you. Think about these things before you involve yourself in marriage. There's insurance for all types of things just for the, for the just in case. Renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, car insurance, life insurance. All of these things can go awry and go wrong. Why isn't there marriage insurance? Why isn't? Why are, why are, why are um, DNA tests not mandatory, whether you're married or not? Because it's always been mama's, baby, daddy's, maybe. Meaning that we know that it's the mom's child, but we don't know if it's the father's. So many men have been living years taking care of children that aren't theirs. These women out here are very slick, fellas. This is not to be an anti-woman video because I love women. I think women are very important to our lives. But this is an awareness video of the women that are amongst us in society today. You got to be very, very cautious when you involve yourself in women in serious situations. There are so many ways that you could get the short end of a stick dating these women. And I'm telling you all, pay attention to the girls who are posting provocatively on social media. What a woman does when she's single is who she really truly is. If you meet a girl and she tells you she's single and on her Instagram, she got ass and titties. That's who she really truly is. When she gets with you, it's not going to stop. She's just going to hide it. Letting you know that right now. If you marry a woman, she shouldn't have social media unless she have a business and she's making a, a, a legitimate lifestyle out off of that social media. And I'm not talking about no OnlyFans. I mean, she really got a traditional, I mean, a, a legitimate business that she's using social media to market and leverage to create income. Then that's cool. And even then she can still DM privately. But we, you know, you're not going to dive too deep into that. Because I believe in allowing women to be who they are naturally, dog. And let her be who she be. Don't be pressing her who you talking to. If you talking to that dude, are you messing with that guy? Because for one, you should, you should be so focused on you becoming better to that don't even matter. And when you have options, you ain't going to care because you can just replace her. But when you create boundaries, that's different. That's not insecure. A lot of women will say, oh, you're insecure because, you know, you care if your girl is posting pictures like that. Why are you so insecure? Well, I'm not going to be providing and protecting a woman who is easily accessible to other men. I'm not going to be working hard to provide and protect and other men can easily just backdoor, backdoor you through a DM. Because that's what a lot of them do. And here's something that you probably don't want to hear as well. But a lot of married men are just the woman's bottom bitch. Literally, that's it. Like real talk, like how pimps got bottom bitches. A lot of you all are your girl's bottom bitch, bro. You the security, you're the provider, you're the protector, you're the muscle. But she's out here dealing with other dudes, man. There was just a video that surfaced on um so on, on, on the internet. If I find it, I'll put it in the video. But basically, dude was married to this woman for five years. She was having sex with dudes, doing sex work through a a uh, um, OnlyFans account that he didn't even know she had. The only reason he found out she had it because his homie was on OnlyFans and found his wife. So what the dude did was pretend to be somebody else and pulled up on her at the hotel and saw that she was having sex with other dudes for money. But that's his wife. So, you know, if you want to get married, I'm not here to tell you to do it or not to do it. But what I am here to do is to provide you the facts and to show you you know, things that you should take into consideration to make a more logical decision in today's time. Women today's mindset has drastically changed, as you can see in the video that I just played for you all. And this is this is not a misogynistic video. This is not a I hate women video. You know, this is not like that. This is an awareness video. Literally, you all need to understand that marriage hasn't changed, but the women you are you are marrying have greatly changed. And that's why it's an issue, because it, it ultimately puts men in a position that is not so favorable for you. And in my opinion, I think it's just much better to work on yourself, build who you are as a man, acquire things in life and just date women. 
because people change. Don't put yourself in a position that's so permanent, that's easy to get in, but hard to get out of. Just an awareness video, just some tips I thought I'd lay out for you all to use in making your logical decision. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, fellas, peace.